and that's what just, okay. Let me just notice your shirt. Yeah. Dear Dorothy, hate Oz, took the shoes, find your own way home, total. <laughs> Isn't pain like a trip to Oz, you know? Like, it's got everything in it. It's got, it's, yeah. it's got mystery, it's got cutting and baffling stuff going on. It's, it's got lack of information, like, like, um, who's the good witch of the West? Uh, Glenda. Glenda. She does, Glenda. She doesn't tell Dorothy that the ruby red slippers are her ticket home, and she excuses it by saying, well, you know, you would have not believed me anyway if I told you. Mm -hmm. She's probably right, but it's like, what kind of partnership is that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. given that you're... From the desk of Toto. From the desk of Toto, no. Um, no, I, I've been hit with, uh, it seems like like you were saying, you you, uh, you get hit with one thing, you're dealing with that, you're going through life, and then next thing you know, boom, here comes another one. You know, here comes another one. Um, my trouble started very young. I was 17 with a bipolar diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And so I went through all my, the rest of my teen years, getting married, having babies, you know, going, growing up. Um, Has anybody so met, met a teenager who's not bipolar, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that's an easy diagnosis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I have another one of these? It wasn't until um, a few years back that, that things started, like, going bad going bad as far as I had a back injury and so that that kind of started there and I was being treated um, with um, like hydro for years and years, hydrocodone? And years. Yes, hydrocodone. After a back injury? After a back injury. Um, that's when things started going bad. That's when things started going bad and then it got to the point where I could no longer take hydrocodone, I would throw up every time. It would just, it would just make me sick. And then, um, slowly, over time, I just started getting different, like, injuries, like my tendons started giving out on me, all over my body. Um, I got the eye injury, so then I can't really see that well. I started, well, when I started getting like surgeries for the tendon release and um, carpal tunnel, all that, it started going, you know, I had the surgeries and I think they were fixed, but they weren't. Um, they just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Finally went and thought I was having a lot of different troubles and the doctor I was seeing I was terrified because I tried to figure out what I had on my own and he asked me all the symptoms and I thought I had ALS. You know, I, I was terrified. They I thought me that. I was terrified. Lou Gehrig's disease, right? Yes. But he asked me a bunch of questions and come to find out, he showed me, he's like, you have fibromyalgia. And that's when I realized, you know, it wasn't a good thing, but it was a good thing I didn't have ALS. So that was kind yeah, of really, the better of the two <laughs> kind of a, Exactly. Except you don't die. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, that's why it's like, okay, I, from ALS. I can deal with the fibro. I'll have bad attacks for a couple days, but I can get over that. You know. Do any but meds help with fibro? Because there's several out Not there. really, no. Yes. Um, there's Lyric and Savella are the new ones. And as far as my, uh, now I have so, uh, psoriatic arthritis, really bad. And so um, with all these inflammatory problems, I cannot take NSAIDs because I take lithium for my bipolar. Mm -hmm. So I cannot take anti-inflammatories, which would help me, you know, be able to function. Now, are you on another immune modulator for your psoriatic arthritis? I. Like, Enbrel, Plaquenil, Methotrexate. Methotrexate. Okay. Um, yes, I'm back on Methotrexate. You don't get sick on that. 
No, so far I haven't. Let's see. This is quite a story. Yeah. So, if we can go to that with the Oz thing, <laughs> age 17, you left Kansas, okay? <laughs> um, and, uh, and, um, Utah, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> For a while, you were able to take high photo. <laughs> Follow the Elbrick Road. <laughs> then you developed some bad tendons, more struggles, eye injury. This would be this would be somewhere around where you met the scarecrow. Okay, um, more troubles, more symptoms that are baffling. Like where are we going? Are we going to Oz or not? Are we going to take a side trip to try to get some brooms? Um, and then all of a sudden, you get a diagnosis of fibromyalgia. You think, ah, oh, thank God, I got a diagnosis we can do something with. Except maybe you can, maybe you can't. And then all of a sudden you and, and you don't have ALS, thank God. So that's probably like going through the poppies. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you break out with oh, sorry arthritis. Like where the hell did that come from? And then and then with with the lithium, which is the only thing that works for your bipolar, you can't take NSAIDs, so you're on methotrexate, which is an immune modulator that shuts off your bone marrow if you're not if you're not watching it. So like here's your yellow brick road. Well, where's the ruby red slippers? <laughs> Been asking that.